February 18th, uh, the sun finally came out to the point where I could dry out the inside of the tank. And uh, I took the glass off. It's there underneath that big Indian blanket. And I took a rag, some of that ShamWow, went in, sopped it up, and took the, the vac and vacuumed it out. Trimmed off the edge, because this is where the uh, new caulking is going to go. We're going to try this stuff. It's called Henry 212, and it's going to dry clear all-purpose patch. It's elastomeric, which means it's supposed to stay, uh, supposed to stay pretty uh, flexible. Um, stays flexible to pre prevent cracking and that was a big problem with the uh, heat resistant caulking. This is supposed to go up to 120 uh, from what I read on there so as soon as this dries completely out we're going to run the caulking uh, along the rim and I've already took a putty knife to the glass and all around and got all the old caulking off as much as I could without breaking the glass and uh, it's kind of interesting, but even without the glass in place, that temperature gauge is uh, 102 coming off the sun, off of this reflecting foil. So this reflecting foil is doing a pretty nice job. That's where we're at right now. And uh, when it dries out, we'll come back and finish the job up uh, to do the re around the just around the edges to stop the leaks. Well, here we are back at the bread box water heater project. Uh, as you can see, I've got it all torn apart. Uh, it's March 3rd, 2010, and uh, got the support uh, panel for the water heater taken out. I wanted to inspect the wood and see if that paint was resistant to the moisture that had gotten inside. The moisture has gotten in a little bit to the wood, but actually that barbecue paint did a nice job about keeping moisture the moisture out. There's very little distortion in the wood. That needs to dry. Uh, the biggest problem was, of course, that uh, latex, it turns out it was latex, not silicon, heat resistant uh, caulking. As you can see all the way through the bottom of the bread box, I've got the tank out, by the way, it's draining, it is uh, all flaked off. All of the reflector panel that I had glued up with it has flaked off from the side that uh, caulking didn't hold at all, so that is not the stuff to use on your bread box. Uh, the latex caulking is out, and I gotta get the silicone in. So I'm just, uh, I gotta get the shop back out here and get the rest of the stuff up up the bottom. Gotta re-glue my sides. That won't take too much. I'm gonna keep this in here, just re-glue them. Got to put the pipes back in with the silicon. Now that latex heat resistant caulking would be excellent for say a brick, but any place you're going to have flex, like in this project, I would not use it. Heat resistant or no. All of this in here is, look at that, just flakes right off. Big chunks of it. I had to take a screwdriver and hammer the pipes out. Look at this big chunk down here. That's all that heat resistant caulking. And it just uh, doesn't stay flexible at all. So uh, I'm going to use the Henry's. It's supposed to be good for this type of thing. Um, we'll see how it goes because the hardware man said that the other caulking would be good for this too, which it wasn't. So, you know, that's one of the things you'd Find out as you do stuff. Learn as you go. Oh, I got some uh, special uh, spray paint that goes over rust and it actually eats the rust and makes it ready for a paintable coat. So as soon as that finishes draining, I'm going to do that. Oh, it looks like it's done. Okay, I got the inside tape back up all along. I got the uh, big chunks of latex silicon off of there, off the glass with this product. 
silicone, silicone latex uh, caulk and foam sealant remover. Which is like a gel and you just put it on there and kind of work it around a piece of plastic, hard plastic or something and eventually comes off. And I spray painted all the rusty spots on the water tape with this here, Rust-Oleum Rust Performer. Converts rust instantly to a paintable surface. And I'll finish up this with the high heat uh, Rust-Oleum. All right, it's March 4th. I uh, got it all mopped out. Got that cleaned up. I need to, got it replumbed back in. It's not leaking. And uh, put my hand under the seams, didn't feel any water leaking, didn't feel any water leaking out here. Uh, turned my water back on, it filled up right away. Got the protective covers on it. And the big thing is I ran a clear bead of the silicone cock. And this is silicone and it's under like an inch on every ledge and I also did an extra bead right along the edge here all the way around. That uh, silicone I took, I was very careful, went all along the edge real nice and slow. You can see where it's really covering a whole inch there plus the outer edge. It really heated up fast after I got that silicone on. And I don't know if you remember where the sun was at the last couple updates, but it's way up there in the sky now. It's about three feet above where it used to be, so it's getting a lot more sun. Hopefully that'll be the last time I'll have to get in and mess with it for uh, leaking water. Ran a little bead along the edge of the glass also all the way around. I also ran a little bead along the extra window down in through here, uh, inside and outside, and retaped everything. I got an external temperature of 98, looks like, 90, and an internal temperature of 154. So that's looking good. Well, I couldn't resist coming out here and getting one more update. It's about 1.25 in the afternoon. I have 152.34, 154.155. That is the highest yet on the bread box. And let's see, what's the ambient temperature? Um, almost 100. So it's 55 uh, degrees more. I think the moisture problem is pretty well taken care of now too. I don't see any drops at all. I still see some condensation underneath the tank. But um, I did leave this joint open to let air in. And I left that joint over there where the TNP pipe goes out open so air can circulate. 